The forces disrupting business are coming from every direction and they're coming faster than ever. Leaders in every industry are forced to rethink fundamentally everything about their business, even the business model itself, in the struggle to stay relevant. Well, I mean, first of all, I, I, it has to be said that uh, it may sound a little odd to talk about upsides at all when this downturn is caused by, you know, this terrible pandemic. Business leaders can get their businesses winning uh, in this environment. It helps everybody. It helps their employees. It helps their customers, their suppliers, their communities. So looking for an upside in this pandemic is not just a good thing to do, it is a, the right thing to do. There is an upside, and the upside is that times of turbulence like these are the times when the competitive order in almost every industry really shifts. I mean, this is not just an impression, there's good research on it, and it shows that typically in a downturn like this, lasting a year or two typically. An awful lot of the leaders in an industry, leaders going in, are not leaders coming out of the downturn. And similarly, a lot of the companies that were laggards in their industry going in are no longer laggards. They become leaders by the time they come out. This is when the big change in the competitive order happens. It's not that easy to change the order when times are good and everybody's doing pretty well. But when times are tough, like they are now, it brings out differences between companies, between individuals that were not apparent when times were good, when times were easier. Jeff, you're a best-selling author. You're the senior editor at large at Fortune Magazine. You're the moderator of the Global Fortune Forum. You've been on stages with everyone from Warren Buffett to Bill Gates to Bezos, uh, both presidents uh, who are named Bush. Is there something you've noticed in your career? Um, shall we say commonalities of forward-thinking leadership that you've just been able to absorb and observe from a very up-close perspective. These leaders, I mean, you just think about the ones you mentioned. If you just think about them individually, they're very different people. Uh, you would never mistake one for another one. And yet, there are a few things that I think they do have. One, they are really, really good at confronting reality. And as one of them, Jack Welch used to say, confronting reality not as it used to be and not as you wish it were, but as it is. And it, it's sometimes I feel embarrassed even to say that because it seems so obvious, but it must be said. An awful lot of business leaders deceive themselves like human beings generally often do about what the reality is when it changes. They don't confront the new reality head on, but the best leaders do that. That's one thing I've noticed that they are all, they are, are very good at it. They smoothly, easily switch to the new reality when it arrives. In addition, they are generally energetic people. They, they convey a lot of dynamism and energy. They are energizing people. People around them get excited, right? It's great to work for one of these people. Uh, they have an ability, and it can come in different flavors, but they have an ability to get people energized. And they are decisive. Uh, I mentioned it earlier, but they do not put off decisions waiting for more information. They might a little bit, but at a certain point, they do what I mentioned earlier, which is they say, okay, I don't have all the information but I got to make the decision and they do it. They don't say maybe, they say yes or no. When you talk about serious experience for serious times, uh, I'd love to hear your final closing thoughts on uh, very specific pragmatic things that people in roles and responsibilities around business leadership and organizational leadership really need to be mindful of now more than ever. If you're a leader in your business, whether you've got three people or 
you know, 3,000 or 300,000 people. Your job in a time like this is to define reality and give hope. Tell people right between the eyes, straight on, what our situation is. They can sense evasion a mile away and they want to know the truth. Tell them what our situation is, what is our reality, and then explain how you as the leader see a way forward. Give them reason to hope, within reason, but give them a good reason to hope. Say, yes, we're in this kind of situation, we've got these problems, but we can make progress. I see it, here's how we're gonna do it, follow me. People will respond to that and they'll never forget what you do.